the third digital like super villain, if you will, when we're talking about you know digital uh, challenges is um, so you have digital overload, digital distraction is digital dementia. Have you heard this term yet? No. Mm-hmm. You're going to hear this a lot in healthcare. It's basically where we're outsourcing our our brains our minds to our smart devices. Oh, this is why I can't mm-hmm. remember anybody's phone number. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, how many phone numbers did you know growing up as a, as all a kid? All of them. All yeah. of them. Literally all of them because yeah. we had to, right? Yeah. And how many phone numbers do you know right now? Two. Yeah. But the, the old <laughs> ones that don't that the I ones knew that don't matter kid. anymore. Mine and our wives, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you know like one or two. There could be somebody you're texting or calling every single day and if your phone was dead or if you didn't have it with you, You wouldn't honestly know what that number is. And here's the thing. I don't want to memorize 500 phone numbers. Nobody wants to do that. But we've lost the ability to remember one phone number. We've lost the ability to remember a conversation, somebody's birthday. I mean, I feel like absent-mindedness. I mean, how many people feel like senior moments are coming too early? Like you walk (laughs) into a room and you just forget why you're there. Mm -hmm. Or you open up the refrigerator. You go to the store to buy one thing and you come back with like two bags full of things, except for that one thing you went to, you know, get there, get there. Or you can't remember if you, you're in the shower, you can't remember if you shampooed your hair, your hair. And I believe two of the most costly words in life and in business are, I forgot. You know, I forgot to do it. I forgot to bring it. I forgot that conversation. I forgot that meeting. I forgot what I needed to say. I forgot that name. Mm. I mean, I think number one business etiquette, networking mm. skill there is, is remembering people's names. I almost feel like we've replaced that ability of remembering certain things with just being distracted instead. So rather than like, oh, I don't, I'm outsourcing this so now I have more space. No, I'm filling that space now with flipping through social media and going through Instagram and shit like and that. And we don't realize how much time we're spending on these devices, right. right? When you go and you actually look at the numbers, when you look at your phone and you look at like you're sp- somebody spending like 24 hours a week, you know, on, on social media or whatever it is. I mean, that's, people always say, oh, I have no time to read or I have no time to work <laughs> out. It has nothing to do with, with time management. It's all priority management. Jim, you know what I did is I stopped, this is going to sound funny, but I uh, like 100% guarantee 90% of the people listening do this. I stopped taking my phone into the bathroom. I have now read a book. I have read an entire book in like like a week and a half because I don't have the phone in there with me, so I take a book with me, and now I read when I'm on the toilet, and it's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> and little things like that, it sounds, it's kind of funny, but it's true. Like Shit We don't, we don't take control. Here's the thing with, with this addiction that we have with our, our, and I'm not, this is not me saying technology is bad, you know, any more than fire is bad, but fire could you know, cook you food and it can burn down your home, right? Right. Technology is how you use it. It can amplify your, you know, your, your value, reach more people. It's why, you know, a lot of us are connected through social media. There's so many benefits. You can learn something, you know, history from the best professor at Oxford. I mean, it's incredible. And if you're picking up your phone at a habit, like dead time, out of boredom or something Mm -hmm. like that, Mm. technology is a tool for you to use. But if technology is using you, then who becomes the tool? Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> yeah. that, that's us, right? I'm a tool. And that's the thing. So you, sometimes people need to break up with their phone and, and create borders or boundaries because digital dementia is basically saying our phones keep our to-do list. It keeps our schedules. It keeps our phone numbers. It, I was out to dinner the other night and it was 10 of us. And then at the end, when the bill came, like half the table picked up their phone to find the calculator to divide by 10. And you know if that's not funny, then that that that's a, <laughs> yeah. that illustrates the problem that we have right now is because that we can't even do simple mental math because it, you know even uh, GPS that's how they that's how originally they were talking about digital dementias where if you're relying on a piece of technology to tell you when and where to turn, then you wouldn't realize when you would normally have a memory lapse, so you're not going to the doctors to get checked out. So we're highly dependent on our digital devices, and so our smartphones are making us stupid. Mm. Yeah. 